so the deck I'm playing is Esper, Esper Hero. There's a different variant right now that doesn't play Hero, it just plays mostly as control, but I think Hero is, is okay. You don't have to play it, but I kind of just want to try this deck. Like It won the SCG this weekend, I think. There was a couple of copies of this deck in the in the GP top eight and type A. So I kind of just want to see, you know, if it's great or how it plays out and everything. In this video. This is going to get countered for sure. I don't want to do that. Oh my God. That was fun. I enjoyed that game very much. Hero, yeah, that was good. Yeah, losing the die roll is bad, because now our Narsa is not going to do all that much. I believe game one, we're a super big dog, because they can just bring back phoenixes and we have no cry or anything. Do they have another land opt? No. Well, if they didn't bring back phoenixes, then I can bring I can put Narset in play. Why didn't I just use Narset first? I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh my god. I could have found D Spark. Uh, well, anyways. I guess I want this rather than Oath. I need to. I, I had to post. I had to post something in our group. I need to start paying attention. It's not like we're playing an important game or anything. Yeah, they can finish off the Teferi, That's fine. But we're gaining. We're gaining so much life. Uh, so much time. So I could either play the Fairy Plus and hope they don't have Shock or something, or I can go Oath Surge. No, I'm gonna play these. Although killing phoenixes is not exactly where you want to be, because then they can just bring them back from the graveyard. I guess at this point I'm just hoping I get Command the Dreadhorde. Crackling Drake. I have to plus this, I think. No, I have to plus this and hope that I get a cast down or something. Like, if I minus this, they're just gonna shock it or play three spells and attack it. Like, this way I'm at least trying to get somewhere. Obviously, it's super easy for them to just play one spell, but they also just have so much burn in their deck and th the ability to bring back phoenixes that using it on minus also doesn't solve the problem. Against Bird Phoenix that uses Sahili and Narset, is it good to have one other spell? Yeah, I mean, if they have Planeswalkers, sure. It, it depends on what your sideboard looks like and everything. Yeah, there's nothing in my deck that deals that deals with this. That was a big attack for one Teferi. I could draw Command the Dread Horde. Not that it would literally do all that much, but... Hero of Precinct 1, nope. Teferi. Hmm. I mean, given how much life it saved me last turn, maybe I should just play it here and draw. All right, we need a cast down. Or, that is also an out, we could just have our opponent time out. That would also work. They really want this Teferi to die. We can flip this now. Which is nice. I already have seven in there, so I don't even need to put an extra card in the graveyard. Three, six, seven. I mean, that can help me find some of the cast downs. Plus, I'm gaining a reasonable, a reasonable amount of life with these oath. At this point, I need the cast down, so I can kill this and still activate surge, or I can kill this and kill phoenix. They're gonna have so much free mana. I guess I could kill this and kill Electromancer. But I, I do kinda wanna use the... I'm just gonna pass. I do really wanna use the Surge. I'll let them just like over attack this again. So I guess now my plan should be ultimating one of my Planeswalkers with Elder Spell. But I'm not gonna be able to keep like three Planeswalkers in play for too long. I guess Dread Horde works too. I could Dread Horde. Yeah, I mean, you can subscribe and you can get all these things for free and much more than just VODs. 
Sideboard guides, that's what everybody wants. So I'm just going to give people what they want. Killing Narsad. Yeah, that means I'm going to take a bunch of more damage. I have no counters, right? There's nothing I can find with this. No, I don't think so. It technically is. Is there a world where I can just finish off my opponent by just throwing all these bolts at them? I can't believe this worked. Do I have the right the right colors of mana? Black, 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 yeah. I just need to make sure that it taps the right lands. Black, black, white, white. I can't believe this worked. That was an insane game. I mean, they threw away a bunch of damage by like over attacking the Planeswalkers. So like in reality, we should have never won. But hey, it worked out. Esper Burn. That was fun. I I enjoyed that game very much. Dress cast down. No, El I don't think I want Elder Spell. I do want D Spark. So what do I not want? I think Command the Dreadhorde is bad in this matchup because you do end up taking a bunch of damage. Bellhound is not great. I think I prefer Hero. I don't think I want Elder Spell, even though they do have Sahil. I, I don't think I want that. I have so many cards that I want in my deck. All right, what am I boarding out? I have to board out one of these expensive things, I think. Is Liliana better than Teferi? Liliana, like starting at seven, that's that's a pretty big deal. Obviously keeping Narset, obviously keeping Teferi. I could board out Hero. Yeah, maybe I should board out Hero. And I should just have like two Wrath in my deck. Or Wrath and Teferi. I do want one more Wrath, I think. You want to have a bunch of Wrath effects. D Spark, D Spark, Surge. Oh, that is good. Yeah, Hero is just like it's just gonna die to, to Shock. But they usually they usually board out those. What is the last card that I don't want? Is it Liliana? Liliana is expensive. I'll have three Teferis. D Spark Wrath, yeah. This is as good a hand as I can hope for against my opponent. We don't have Narset. Like, it would be even better if we had two blue sources or like, or a Narset, but you can't have it all. I mean, you can, but we're, we're trying to be reasonable. I'll just keep playing these tap lands, and if they want to attack me for two, that's okay. If they play Crackling Drake, then that's a perfect turn to Gaia's Wrath. That might get negated. But that means they're not. Yeah, I'll play it. It's gonna get it's gonna get counter for sure, but that doesn't really bother me. You could also just play Lyra next turn. Why do people wait with these cards for the end of their opponent's turn? Is is the biggest mystery to me. Like they could have found Chartercores and drawn two in their turn or something. This looks good. Can negate that, huh? Maybe I should have Elder Spell if they have the Ace, but. I don't know what I would cut though. The one card they do have in their deck is Beacon Bolt. I'll just kill the Planeswalkers by attacking them. Yeah, I would not I would not suggest attacking with the Electromancer. We are Lyra flooded. So how much do I care about Sahili? I ju I just killed Narset here, because then I can just cry. Yeah, I don't care about Sahili, I don't think. So bam, we have a backup Lyra now. Yeah, I don't think they would keep a bunch of lightning strikes, but maybe, who knows? I'm definitely saving this for like when they have a much much bigger board or when they when they actually bring back some phoenixes cuz like at this point I'm dealing more damage than like I'm gaining I'm gaining more damage from Lyra than they're dealing with their creatures so I mean I have at that point I have four lands in play like what are they going to what are they going to do like are they going to keep spell pierce spell pierce negate you should obviously play opt in your turn yeah I'll pass yeah I mean they might have they might have all counters now mm mhm this is fine. So I know Lyra would die to Lightning Strike, but I'm not gonna despark this. Okay, how am I gonna do this? If I cry before I attack, I incentivize my opponent to Lightning Strike it, and I can still play my Lyra. If I attack first, they're most likely gonna Lightning Strike at the end of turn. I guess I'll still attack first, because it's like I'm not shortening the clock. Do I even have to do this, actually? Maybe I just don't play the cry. 
This is gonna get countered for sure. I don't wanna do that. I guess this is gonna get negated. Maybe I should just wait for Teferi. I mean, I'm taking, yeah, I'm not gonna play it. Or I, I could just throw this as a bait. I could play land, not, ha not have it spell pierced. I guess it's kind of awkward to play it after I attack, but I also don't wanna, don't wanna help them put instants in their graveyard. If they have Beacon Bolt and I use this and get it negated, then like they have a higher chance at Beacon Bolting my creature. Like finding enough spells to do that. I might just despark this, I think. I do kind of want to play something now because I have so many spells. I also just don't want to die to burn. I don't think they should have burn. If they had, I guess if they had two burn spells, they would have killed Lyra. So this way I'm taking seven. I'm just not going to play anything. I really don't want to get this beacon bolted. Yeah, if they keep passing, I mean, I'm just going to win with Lyra. <laughs> All you need to do is play a 5-5. Five five. They should not have double burn spell. Because if they did, they would have just killed Lyra. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they could have had beacon bolt and a bunch of negates. And if I cast my spells, they would have negated that. We are back. No big deal or anything. The gatekeeper is back. I do like these streams lately that like anytime we anytime we turn on the stream and say like hey we're gonna take number one today we actually we actually always do that.